Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we're going to talk about a feature coming to Microsoft Edge, which is a included VPN within Edge. Now, before you get all happy and think that, uh, like Opera, you get you know a VPN connectivity uh, for free, it's not exactly that. Um, so. First of all, I get a lot of requests about what VPNs are. VPNs are virtual private networks. What they are technically is that it's a service offered by some providers on the internet and that encrypts the data between your computer and the computer that, of course, a connection is done with, but also adds another feature that's interesting is that it changes where you're connected when somebody tries to view your connectivity on the web, which means instead of having your in, uh, internet service provider information given, the information given is the computer you're connected to. So that means you are not showing up at your location, so they don't know where you are. And also at the same time, it's encrypted, which means um, between your computer and the computer you're connected to, nobody can see what's happening, including your internet service provider. So um, Edge will come eventually with a VPN. And the thing is, um, some people that have the Edge browser say they have started seeing this option. So that means you might have it already. I don't, but I'll show you what it looks like um, by a screenshot. But um, it is eventually happening um, to um, pretty much all of us at some point. Um, I would guess that it probably has to do with the different markets also. So it might be uh, better at, um, you know, where it's going to be in the United States first and then, you know, start showing up on uh, different countries around the world. So if you want to know if you have it, you have to go into your upper right corner, three horizontal dots. You have to go into your settings. And in the settings, you'll go into the privacy options. So of course you have tracking prevention and all of that. But within that, some of you will see something. I don't have it as you see here, but you'll see something that looks like this, which is the settings for a Microsoft Edge secure network. So this will give you the VPN from Edge. Now it's not selectable in a way which means that you cannot choose what computer, where you are connected around the world. It's done kind of automatically. But it's done depending on sites. So you'll have select sites that will do it, optimized, or every site you're always using a VPN. Now, here's the trick that they're actually going to pass on us here. One gigabytes of the VPN will be free every month, which means... You'll have some access. If you have some things that you do, you want to be secure and on a VPN. They give you a minimum, one gigabyte, where you are connected through the VPN. After that, there will be a paid VPN amount. I don't know how much you're going to charge, how it's going to work. But uh, if you have want more than one gigabyte, that will be um, you know, extra. Before it's um, everybody gets it, apparently the first month will be 15 gigabytes you'll be allowed before it actually reverts back to one. But once everybody has it, it will be one. And if you want more, you'll have to actually pay for it. Now, you might say, well, you know, why pay for it? Good VPNs are not free. Um, I never recommend anyone connect to a VPN that is free because free VPNs, have a dark side. They snoop on your data to give you ads to do all sorts of things. Where a paid VPN is, or most important paid VPNs are, you know, uh, safe. They're not snooping, snooping on you. They're not doing anything. They just give you a service that you want and need. So here's um, hoping that this service, if it's a paid service, is at least a good service. Uh, that is secure, but uh, it's coming to Edge, and apparently that's going to show up. Um, to some of you, it's already already there, apparently. Some of us, it'll show up later. Um, I would guess, like I said, that it was going to start in the United States. So if you want to try it, go and check it out if you have it, and if you do have it, why not try it and uh, serve the web a little bit while it's on 
uh, to see how it performs as VPNs have one thing that can happen is that sometimes they can slow down your connection because you are connecting to multiple other computers before actually getting the data or the websites you want, which typically often slows down the connectivity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.